Hello everyone, my name is Shane. Today is March 15th, 2020. We are going to talk about how many more new strains of bat-borne viruses will strike humans. Bats are found all over the world except for the North and the South Poles, and some islands in oceans far from mainland shores. With more than 1,100 species, bats are the only mammals that has the ability to fly. While bats are important to our ecosystems, they carry a large number of viruses. Bats can carry about 200 different types, and almost all of them are RNA viruses. If subtypes are counted, the number could be thousands. For example, coronavirus alone has about 300 subtypes in bats. Many people think bats are a natural reservoir host for viruses. Several virus members have carried out numerous attacks on humans, some of which can cause diseases known for their horrific manifestations, such as Ebola virus, and some can cause diseases known for their fast speed transmissions, such as SARS-CoV-2, also known as COVID-19 coronavirus. But do you know how many times the bad virus have attacked humans? Will they attack humans again? Let's first look at the examples of bad bomb virus attacks in human history. First, rabies virus. Rabies is an infectious viral disease that is almost always fatal following the onset of clinical symptoms. Humans have suffered from rabies since a long, long time ago. Even now, with a 100% preventable rate, people still have a loss of 60,000 lives worldwide every year due to rabies virus infection. Dogs are responsible for up to 99% of the cases. But in the United States, 90% of the rabies cases do not come from dog attacks, but from bat bites. Do bats carry the rabies virus? Correct. Bats do carry the virus, though many people don't even know it. How can people get bat bites? They don't come into contact with each other. Actually, in many cases, bat bites occur because people want to rescue bats by moving them from house floor to outdoor ground, sending them back to the nature. They were usually bitten during this rescue course. They didn't go to see a doctor because they didn't know Bats carry the rabies virus. When the symptoms occur, it is usually too late. Most of them died of it. Indeed, bats don't usually come to our homes. When a bat landed on your house floor, it might very well be sick, be infected with rabies virus. You need to be aware of it when you see this kind of scenes. Second virus, Marburg virus. In 1967, several laboratory employees in Marburg in Germany suddenly got a terrible disease at the same time. In addition to fever, headache, vomiting, and diarrhea, there were internal and external bleeding. It was also frightening to others because several people had the same strange disease in the same laboratory at the same time. While everyone was scared and puzzled, they heard that in two other laboratories, one in Frankfurt in Germany and the other in Belgrade in former Yugoslavia, several staff members there also had the same illness. After exchanging information, they found that they used the same batch of monkey imported from Uganda at the same time. They later discovered that a virus in the monkey caused the disease, and they named the disease Marburg virus. In this incident, 31 people were infected, 7 died. The death rate was 25%. However, several later outbreaks caused by the same virus, Marburg virus, were not so lucky. And the death rate of the two largest outbreaks was about 90%. Here the monkey seems to be the intermediate host. The virus was transmitted from monkeys to people. But human-to-human -human transmissions also happen because the medical staff was also infected. Scientists believe Marburg virus came from bats. All right, now let's go to the third one. 
Ebola virus. Ebola virus is a deadly virus from bats, and it is also a relative of the Marburg virus. This virus has been a popular topic for many, many years, and most people know it already. So I don't want to get into the details here. Let's go to the next one. Number four, Hendra virus. Australia produces many fine horses and is also a home of many outstanding race horses. Australians love horses, but in 1994, 21 robust race horses and two staff members of an Australian farm became sick. The illness they contracted is a severe respiratory disorder with a 75 death rate. Research found that the disease was caused by a virus from bats. The virus was named the Hendra virus after the name of the place where the virus was first discovered. Horse here is an intermediate host. By 2016, about 70 horses and 7 staff members were affected. A vaccine for horse is now available to prevent this disease. So now let's see the fifth virus. Nipah virus. Study in September 1998, workers in pig farms around the Nipah in Malaysia were found to have respiratory illness and encephalitis. The disease subsequently spread, bringing the number of patients to nearly 300 by June 1999. And the most terrifying thing was that more than 100 patients died. Obviously, this is an infectious disease with a very high death rate. After investigation, the murderer was finally caught. It was an RNA virus. This virus is similar to Hendra virus, the virus we mentioned previously. Hendra virus came from bats, so scientists launched a vigorous hunt for virus harbored in bats. Finally, the virus was found in a bat and it was named Nipah virus. Scientists believe the virus entered pigs from bats and spread among them, causing an outbreak in pigs. The virus evolved during the outbreak and eventually became capable of transmitting to humans, causing an outbreak of the disease with the high death rate in people. After scientists announced the pig was the intermediate host, more than one million pigs were slaughtered, which is definitely one of the darkest pages in pig history. But humans don't care about it. The number of dark pages that humans have written for other lives in history is too many to count. Here are a few examples. During the SARS epidemic in 2002 and 2003, Guangzhou City in China destroyed all living or dead palm civet. Within five days after scientists suspected the cat was an intermediate host for SARS coronavirus transmission. During the avian flu outbreak from 2004 to 2005, millions of poultry were killed. During a swine fever outbreak in 2019, more than 7 million pigs were killed in countries like China, Vietnam, and so on. So the dark pages are really gloomy and countless. You may think killing all suspected intermediate host animals is a response all people agree and will do. You are wrong. Not all people agree and will do the same. For instance, during the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, also known as MERS outbreak in 2012, people in Middle East did not destroy camels even after all scientists pointed their fingers to the camels and claimed the camel was the intermediate host for MERS coronavirus transmission. Scientists believe camels are a possible source of MERS, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. Quite how it's transmitted to humans remains unclear, but the virus has already killed more than 280 people. And it's spreading, moving from its roots in the Arabian Peninsula, through the Middle East and now into Asia, Europe and the US. In Asia, authorities regularly call poultry to prevent the spread of the SARS virus. But for many here, killing camels is unthinkable. In Saudi Arabia, some are taking to social media to defend their animals.
You're good on They say you're the reason for the virus, but they don't know what they're talking about. Sneeze on my face. A very clear demonstration of the link between camel and owner. It's very nice. It's a bond that even a potentially deadly virus cannot shake. For now. Yes. We need to know that MERS death rate was almost 35%, much higher than SARS death rate, which was 10%. Another example is the intermediate host for Hendra virus. The intermediate host for this virus is the horse. But Australians did not slaughter horses. The death rate for Hendra virus is about 75%. Back to our topic. In 20 years from the discovery of the disease in 1998 to 2018, Nipah virus outbreaks erupted several times in a few other countries, with a total of 662 cases and 369 deaths. The death rate is about 55%. Now let's talk about SARS coronavirus, MERS coronavirus, and COVID-19 coronavirus. These three viruses are all coronavirus from bats. These viruses have been popular topics recently, and most people are familiar with them. I will not get into the details of them. All right, we have listed all major examples that the viruses harboring bats have launched attacks on humans. Their recurrent attacks occur from time to time. These repeated attacks alone are already endless and scary. But don't forget there are many other viruses in bat reservoir. As mentioned earlier, these could be thousands of different types and subtypes. So far, only a few of them attacked us. What happened to the others? Do they have no enough power or capability to attack humans? Or are they just patiently waiting for their opportunities? Although we don't have definitive answers to these questions now, there are still clues from many existing scientific findings. Number one, potential more outbreaks of other bad-born coronaviruses. There have been three bat-born coronavirus outbreaks, including SARS, MERS, and COVID-19. However, according to a news article published in Nature magazine in 2017, scientists have already found 300 more different types of coronavirus from bats virus reservoir. It is very possible that some of them either have the capability of invading humans directly, or indirectly through an intermediate host. Indeed, results of a research article published in Nature magazine in 2015 pushed the possibility even higher. The results indicate that a chimeric coronavirus that is a combination of a SARS coronavirus backbone and a bat coronavirus S protein is able to infect human cells. S protein acts like a key to open the doors on victim cells. The results showed that S protein from the bat virus can open the doors on human cells, making it possible that the original bat virus can infect humans directly. In conclusion, there are some coronavirus harbored in bats and unknown to humans are possibly waiting for their opportunities to make strikes on humans. Second, potential more Ebola virus-like outbreaks. A research article published in 2019 revealed that a new virus similar to Ebola and the Marburg virus was found in China. The virus was named the Mengla virus because it was found in Mengla County in China. The newly discovered virus is a relative of Ebola or Marburg virus and is harbored in bats since it can infect a variety of mammalian cells such as monkey, hamster, dog, and human cells. It is possible that this virus can infect people directly or indirectly through an intermediate host, like monkey, hamster, or dog. Number three, potential more zoonotic influenza A virus outbreaks. Scientists have found more different types of influenza A viruses from bats. The swine flu and the bird flu that are now circulating around the world belong to influenza A virus. 
Have you ever heard of H1N1, a swine flu? H3N2, another swine flu? H5N1, avian flu? H7N9, avian flu? H7N4, avian flu? Etc. They have already panicked a great number of people many times. But now, scientists from USCDC's virus group discover different types of influenza A virus from bats. Their work were published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science of the United States of America in 2012 and in PLOS Pathogen in 2013. The new types of influenza A virus from bats include H17N10 and H18N11. It is even riskier that their genomic material are likely to be exchangeable with the genetic material of human influenza A virus, based on the natures of their genetic components. God knows what kind of chimeric freak this exchange will produce, and no one knows what kind of freak will bring to human societies. Will it be bat flu after swine flu and bird flu? Unfortunately, humans don't know much about the viruses in this bat virus reservoir. But even this little knowledge discussed earlier is enough to give us some feeling about the potential of the virus strikes. Are those monsters hiding in the reservoir happy enough so that they don't want to come out to wage a bloody war against humans? Or are they waiting for their opportunities to launch new strikes on humans? Let's see. Okay, this video ends here. Thank you for watching and see you next time.